Warning, there is a good chance Bitcoin Mike has no idea what he's talking about. Do your own research. Enjoy the show. Thank you. All right, folks, we got Bitcoin still pumping. Bitcoin back up to, or I should say up to $17,332. Some of the altcoins taking a little bit of a break. Uh, Cardano basically hit 33 cents and then basically did a dump down to 31 cents. So a little bit of resistance there. And we got Matic still rocking and rolling at 85. Litecoin still hanging out at $81. We got VeChain, which is up almost 8% today. Gotta love that VeChain. Gotta love that VeChain. And let's see where Mr. Theta is. Theta hanging out around 80 cents. So, folks, this is very, very positive. Um, there's a few ways we can go. You know, I'm not going to play Mr. Fortune Teller here. Normally, what happens with these pumps, you get Bitcoin pumping a little bit first. Then the altcoins go. Then the altcoins cool off. Then Bitcoin pumps a little bit more, which you're seeing right now. But these, the Bitcoin pump is very, very little. A few hundred dollars, you know, every time it pumps. The altcoin pumps are absolutely insane, which basically tells me people are desperate to get back into this market. This pump is what you see from the people who sold out. They sold out at the, at the highs. You know, the people buying in right now, like the people buying Cardano right now are not the people who sold Cardano at 25 cents. Why would you sell Cardano? Or excuse me, they are the people who sold Cardano at 25 cents. So they sell Cardano at 25 cents and they're like, it's going down to 15 cents. It's going down to 5 cents. Then it pumps right back up to 33 cents. They buy right back in. I've been there before. I used to do it myself. So same with all these other coins. So it's basically retail money coming back into the market because they sold because they're stupid. The question everybody wants to know, will this pump last? Uh, I don't know. I mean, Gareth Soloway, who I'm a big follower, thinks we might be able to get up to 18,000. I was actually thinking 18,000 a couple days ago as a possibility. Um, it really depends on the stock market, but the stock market is up today, folks. It is up. Uh, last time I checked, yep, NASDAQ jumps nearly 2%. So the rally is continuing. Coinbase is absolutely killing it. And I've been telling you guys, also Tesla's up 8% too. I've been telling you guys, Coinbase is basically your way to get into Bitcoin without buying Bitcoin. It follows Bitcoin to a T. Coinbase was down to $32 the other day. I picked up a bunch at $33 and around 30, 39 and 33 are my two buy levels for Coinbase. And, um, you know, Kathy Wood's been buying a lot of Coinbase. And every time Bitcoin pumps, Coinbase is going to pump. When we go into the bull market... Going in the end of this year, 2024, everybody's going to be going right into Coinbase because it's the most trusted exchange. I mean, it's an, it's an easy 10x from here, in my opinion. So it doesn't take much. Coinbase up 15 to 20% for the day, and the day is not over. Like I said, folks, I don't know what's going to happen with this pump. You know, I think there's a possibility we get up to almost $18,000. I don't know. Um... The lows might be in for a lot of these altcoins, but that doesn't mean we're not going to retest them. You know, Cardano, if Cardano's back down to 27 cents next week, I won't be surprised at all. But and I, and, I, and I will be buying more Cardano if it is down to 27 cents. I am not going to be scared money this bull run, which I've been saying. I've been trying to beg people, do not be scared money. You wait for these lower prices, you might not get them, and you're going to be chasing. Everybody buying right now are the people chasing. Unfortunately, folks, if you're a chaser, you're not a winner in the market. You're not going to do well. Chasers never do it. Chasers never make it. Okay? You don't want to be a chaser. And that's this market is all chasers. All right. I found this little DeFi story. Why DeFi should expect more hacks this year. You know, everybody's talking about like, oh, you know, we got to get out of these centralized exchanges. We're gonna, everything's going to be DeFi. Everything's going to be decentralized. That's the way to go. And I've been trying to tell people all along, like DeFi is 10 times worse than the centralized exchange. You know, all the DeFi hacks we've had this year, like billions and billions of dollars or millions and millions of dollars. So yeah, I mean, FTX was a big disaster, but it was basically a con job based out of the Bahamas. I would much rather be buying my crypto on, on Coinbase or Binance.us Binance 
than some DeFi exchange that's probably going to pop up in a, in a couple months. Everybody's going to flock to it, and they're all going to get hacked to shit. In fact, I made this prediction a couple months ago. I think the next bear market in 2026, 2025 is going to be started off by a big DeFi hack, which well, is going to be some big DeFi exchange. Everybody loves this decentralized. There's no more con men controlling it, and the thing's going to get hacked, and everybody's going to lose all their money. I'd much rather be in Coinbase, and that's why, going back to the Coinbase, why I'm a big investor now in Coinbase. In fact, I hold more Coinbase stock than I do Bitcoin as far as um, monetary value, because I think Coinbase is going to be the leader as far as exchanges. All right. And of course, Bitcoin blows past 17,000. It could be a big week for cryptos. The price of Bitcoin has jumped 2% over the past 24 hours, up to 17,250. We're at 17,350 right now. And we also have the stock market rattling. So this is a good day for cryptos. Good day for Cardano. Good day for your altcoins. Uh, Solana has been really, really pumping hard as well. Um, you know, folks, if I have to choose between Cardano and Solana, I'm picking Cardano. I think Solana is on its death door. I think there are people waiting to sell Solana. Um, and I think once it pumps up to a certain price, you're going to see the gates of hell open for Solana. And also you still have Crypto Ran, Crypto Ran the man pumping his Solana. Solana. And I, I said it before, I didn't do, I didn't put many trades through. I put two trades through this whole vacation. And the reason why I put two trades through is because it's just, I know that when something dies, but when it, when it dies, but doesn't really die, that's the time to go and buy it. And what I saw in, 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 in the holiday, in fact, let's, we can just look at exactly what date that was. On the 29th of December, Solana died. It went under $8. It was panic. To be honest, even I was at one point really, really, really panicking. I was panicking. So I phoned all the people that, that I know, and I phoned people at Solana, I phoned Vinny Lingham, I phoned uh, James from Invest Answers, I was like, guys, are you watching this? Have I missed anything? So he phoned all the venture capitalists and con men and Vinny. <laughs> Vinny, <laughs> what is this, a mob show? He phoned Vinny. Um, so yeah, Crypto Banter is back to the, the promoting Solana, which is one reason I would never touch it. Look at the comment right here, no ADA. Crypto banter went the whole day. I, I was watching the show, I was working this morning. First, I was listening to the sniper this morning. No mention of ADA. Um, Sheldon mentioned it once for a trade. And no Cardano mention at all on this venture capitalist shitbag con show. The show that got you into UST, the show that got you into Luna, the show that got you into Solana at $200. Crypto banter, ran the man, the crypto banter curse. This guy, the Solana shill. And now he's back to shilling Solana after it just pumped 22 cent, 20, uh, excuse me, 22%. It's a coin that all, almost all of the people behind it have basically jumped ship and gone over to other blockchains. It's a giant, giant, um, coin held by Alameda Research. So the coins are locked up right now, but eventually they're going to be sold off to pay back all the people that got screwed over with FTX. They're trying to pump it right now over to Crypto Banter Channel, all the venture capitalists, and they're just trying to get they're just trying to get it up to a certain price. Is that price $25, $30? I don't know what the price is, but they're trying to get it up to a certain price so they can dump it on you. Every coin I've already made videos about the crypto banter curse. Almost every coin this ran Nooner pumps goes to zero. I mean, you wouldn't even believe it. His biggest bags were Luna, UST, and Solana. That's his biggest bags. The guy's lost like 100. If you follow this guy, I don't know how he makes any money. Like, I guess he made his money in another business and he makes it all with YouTube. But he, trust me, guys, he's not making a dime off YouTube if you follow his trades. His biggest bag was Terra Luna. I mean, it's like, and his biggest bag was Solana. So he's made nothing, but yeah, anyway, my point is all these guys are back to pumping. They're all back, to, they're, they're back to this on the Solana train. Gala's already pumped like 60%. You got to be a lunatic to get in the Gala right now. I mean, I do like Gala. It's a great coin. And I don't even know where the hell it is. I mean, is it even in the top 50? I don't even remember. I think it is, right? Isn't Gala in the top 50? I don't know. Maybe not. I can't find it. I don't care. I, I, I don't even care. But anyway, I know it's pumped like 60%. I'm not even going to look it up because I don't care enough about it. But you don't want to buy You don't want to buy it right now. So watch out for that crypto banter curse. I've been talking to them for a while. They're going to be pumping that Solana because Solana just pumped 20%.
But you got to be a lunatic to be putting your money in uh, Solana versus Cardano right now. You got to be an absolute lunatic. Or even Solana versus Ethereum, Solana versus Matic. I mean, basically, all the devs from Solana went over to Matic and Cardano. So uh, they're going to pump this thing, folks, and eventually it's going to go to zero. Um, so watch your ass with Crypto Banter and the Crypto Banter curse. Anyway, that's it for today. I might do another video later, folks. It's a good day in crypto. Will this pump last? I don't know. I personally don't give a crap. I mean, if Bitcoin goes back down to uh, 16, 9, 16, 8 tomorrow and Cardano's back down to 27 cents, it still proves my point that these things can pump on a dime and you're a lunatic if you're not taking positions now. I'm not telling you to go all in, but I'm about 60. I'm, I'm actually about 60% in the market right now. I've been telling you guys about Coinbase. I've been telling you about Cardano at 25 cents. I mean, it might not go any lower. I've been telling you about Bitcoin. I've been look, all the things we've been talking about on this channel are starting to come true. You're seeing you're seeing how quickly these things can pump. Now, when we actually go into a bull market, which I don't think we're going into right now, you'll see you'll see the pump continue for a year. It'll be a year of pumping. So, is that going to happen right now? Probably not, but that's why you want to get these coins now as cheap as possible like I've been saying and I mean, Cardano at 27 cents, even Cardano at 31 cents right now. I mean, come on. I mean, is it really that bad of a deal? But yeah, you want to wait for 27 cents. We'll probably get back there again. But look at Litecoin, $81. I mean, this is crazy. Litecoin was $50 a month ago. It's just hanging out at $81. So a lot of these coins have bottomed out and they are basically ready to go to the moon. They are ready to go to the fucking moon. And I'm not going to miss my ticket to the moon. Unfortunately, I don't think that blast off is going to happen until the second half of, half of 2023. But it could happen at any time. Nobody knows. The best traders in the world in crypto, I've been following them for the last six years. They're right half the time. So it's time to be paying attention, folks, because it should be a wake-up call to you right now how quickly these altcoins can pump. And it's awesome. It's freaking awesome. All right, folks, like and subscribe. Have a good day.